listening ears for five minutes. Got them on? Good. Now just listen. Long ago there lived a man, his name was Carlo, and he ran an ancient theater where his daughter was the star. With me? Carlo's the star, yeah. No, his daughter's name is Esmeralda, and she's famous. People come to hear her sing from near and far. Got it. Good. Now there's a rumor going round that in the tunnels underground there lives. Oh, wait, I know. Can I guess? Sure, if you can. A mysterious phantom. Me, right? Right, well, mostly, but the twist is that this ghostly evil presence isn't monster, but man. Now this man had been blessed with a gift he possessed, musical talents completely unmatched. But as you often will find in epic tales of this kind, this gift came with a curse attached, a face that was hideous and so jarring, he wore a mask to cover all the scarring, cool. and lived underground inside a hole. Wait, a hole? Like Lion King. You know, you are actually the worst. Listen up, you're gonna need to know this. One day at his piano, distant sounds of a soprano drifted towards him from the theater above. Okay, so this hole has a piano? Sweeter than a bird in all his life, he'd never heard a sound like this, and he was instantly in love. The voice, of course, was Carlo's daughter, and the phantom went and sought her to become his secret student and his muse. And if you think she found this oh so enigmatic virtue oh so kinda creepy, then I've got some shocking news. Because she fell and fell apart, he was battered and scarred, but she could see that inside there was more. Something alluring she'd find in the sadness behind that terrifying mask he wore. Wait a minute, I'm your boyfriend? Are you gonna have to kiss? That's gross. You're like my sister. See, it's called acting. So this is Beauty and the Beast. Zeke, less talking, more listening, because here's where it gets interesting. As he has another man, some guy named Ral, who's tall and handsome and not all that pleased about her latest bow. Ah, always a triangle. And really, Ral tracks him to his lair where he attacks him and they battle in the passageway below. Awesome! And when he took his last who died at a theater and then haunts it forever? Yes. Brooke, that's just like the story Ms. Walker told. This play is just like the story of our school. That is so meta. 